All right. So we talked about Pythagorean theorem last week. And I'm just going to give you some information here that's going to help you derive the distance formula. Let's say I have two points. M is point x1, y1 in yellow. Okay. So this is my point M. I also have a point N at x2, y2. Now let's think about this. If I were to draw in my triangle here, well, it's a triangle. Because that's kind of the connections. So I draw this in. We have a right triangle. We have a right triangle. What does Pythagorean theorem say? Well, Pythagorean theorem says that this leg A squared plus this leg B squared equals C squared. I'm just going to write that down. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay? Well, what is this length A right at my base? What is this? Well, this is in the horizontal direction. This is my x direction. Okay? So how do we figure out that distance? Well, on the number line, we took these points and we subtracted them. So I'm going to take my x, I'm going to take my x2, and I'm going to subtract my x1. That is the length of A. So A over here equals x2 minus x1. That is the length of that base. My B here is my vertical length. That's my Y component in the vertical. Well, this, is, this length here is Y2 subtract Y1. So my B equals y2, the difference between my two y coordinates. That's that length. Well, I know what B is and I know what A is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute in what we know that B and A are. I'm going to substitute it in that equation for Pythagorean theorem. Because this is going to, then we'll be able to figure out the distance for, for the hypotenuse there, length C. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm substituting this in. So x2 minus x1 squared. Okay. Let me move this over a little bit. And then I'm going to substitute in for B plus y2 minus y1, and we were squaring that b, so that's going to be squared again. And the c squared is going to remain the same. It's just c squared. Okay? So I want you to stay with me here. I'm going to get rid of this because this is kind of... I don't want this to confuse anybody. So... This is what my b is. It's equal to y2 minus y1. All right? So I want you guys to think about this. Now, c squared is equal to this mess on the left. c squared is equal to x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So how do we solve for this square? For this c squared, we got c equals to this thing. Well, to take and solve for something that's squared, you have to take the square root. So you take the square root. I'm going to take the square root of, from both sides because this is an equation. And the square root of c squared is just c. This is just c. Well, what we did here... This is our distance formula in the Cartesian coordinate system. So this works for any two points 
in our Cartesian coordinate system. You plug in the points here, make sure that they're corresponding to the these two points, x2, that those are the corresponding points to the one, to the first point, and this is the corresponding part to the other point. Now, the only way you're going to get this wrong is if you mix the points up, okay? You mix up the x and y. As long as you pair them together, this is going to work every time, every time, okay? So let's do an example. Let's do an example. So I have two points here. I have two points here. I have points M and I have points N. Now I'm just going to plug in these points. I'm just going to plug these in. I'm going to say that my N is uh, X2 and X and Y2, okay? My M is going to be X1 and Y1. Let's write down that equation again. So I'm not going to write it down as hypotenuse. I'm going to write it down as distance equals the square root of X2 minus X1 squared plus Y2 minus Y1 squared. Now I'm just going to plug in my points here. So my x2 is 7, my x2 is 7, my x1 is negative 8, so I'm subtracting a negative 8. And then I'm going to square that result. Now I'm going to do y2, y2 is 3. And I'm subtracting y1, which is a negative 5, and I'm squaring that. And then I have to remember, I'm taking the square root of all this. So, what's our rules? When we're for 7, subtract a negative 8, this is going to be add, add. So this is going to be 15 squared. Then I'm adding a 3 minus a minus 5. Well, this is plus, plus, so this is like 3 plus 5. So this is 8 squared. And then don't forget the square root sign. So this is what my distance equals. I didn't, D is still in here. This D stands for distance. So let's do the math here. Well, 15 squared is 225. You guys, I know all my square and squares and perfect squares and square roots up to 25. You guys should know those too. And then eight squared, you guys should know this one. This is 64. All right. So when I add these two together, I get the square root of 289. All right. Well, I know that this is a perfect square. This is a perfect square. I know the square root of 289 is 17. This is what's called a Pythagorean triple, for those of you that have heard of that. This is the solution, 15, 8, 17. And this distance formula is just the Pythagorean theorem. It's just in a different form that we may not recognize. All right, we're going to do another example. This time we're just going to plug in our points. All right, this is my distance formula, and this is going to be my x1, y1, and this is my x2, y2, okay? So let's plug this in. So it's the square root of x2, which is 6, subtract x1, which is a negative 3 squared. So then I'm going to go over here. y2 is 8. I'm just plugging in these numbers, and I'm subtracting a negative 4, and that's squared. All right. So this is what my distance formula is. So let's do this. Negative 6, or 6, minus a negative 3. This is add, add. So this is like 6 plus 3, so that's 9. That's 9 squared. So then 8 minus a minus 4, that is, again, adding. So this is 12 squared. So I have to take the square root of that. So when I square 9, I get 81. When I square 12, I get 144. And I'm still taking the square root. When I add these together, I get 225. Well, I know that this is a perfect square because the square root of 225 is 15. So again, this is another Pythagorean triple, 9, 12, 15. This solves 
a right triangle and the 15, the longest side, is my hypotenuse. All right, that's it for your examples today. Have a good luck, good luck Panthers.